Hi, if you're wondering why I'm standing in front of the sign looking left or right, please refer to part one of the video. If not, and you want to just see what happens, please stick around, see if I find my way out of the bush, go camping, get home. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I will say one thing, if you come in here without a map, you're nuts, because I just did a bloody big circle, and I'm back at the uh, York Williams Road. Oh well, I'll keep going. Oh my god. Alright, oh, what's this one say? Congellan Campground. How far in? Doesn't say. Congellan Campground. I'll have a quick look because I'm not going too bloody far this time. See ya. It's a nice graded road anyway. Them. Just hope I don't end up doing another circle. Got to play on that. Uh, what does this say? More street signs. This is obviously the campground. Right, payment envelopes at information shelter, post in or phone office on week weekdays. The number is eight. Oh, sorry. The number is nine eight eight one nine two hundred. Campers fees per adult eleven dollars per valid concession card holder seven three dollars for children. Take a payment slip from the container. Follow the instructions. Blah blah blah. By mail, by phone, in person. Campground, so tents, caravans, fires during the season. Generators, please ensure welfare of other campers, so shut your generators off. Pets, pets are not permitted within Congellan Campground. We'll go around the other side and have a look at the other campsite or campground. So yeah, for a caravan, absolutely beautiful. Oh, somebody camped over there. Do we own a land cruiser club? Oh, if you wanted to get away, perfect. Right, this looks like the go. Finally found it after touring half the countryside. This is the caravan park area. There's all individual bays laid out. There's barbecues. There's even some wood dumped over here. The toilet facilities. Yeah, bit of firewood there. So I saw a big timber structure over there, or some sort of thing, so I'll go and have a look at that. decided to stay at Congellan National Park. It is absolutely beautiful. There's only one little set of campers over the other side and I think I've got the place just about all to myself down this end. Plenty of firewood and just have a look over behind me. Where are we? Here we go. That's the toilet. So I've got a toilet to myself.
So I'm pretty well set to go. Got enough firewood for tonight. Leave the hammock set up again. As I say, I just did that video on it. Toilets there. Other people are way down that end. There's the barbecues just up behind me. I just love it. I could stay here a couple more. That's if I didn't have to go to work. So, got the fire going. Got some fairly basic for tea. I'm going to do some spam and I've got some German hash brown. Add a bit of smoke, um, smoke steak powder to it. And that'll be about it. So, I'll just have a couple of drinks and sit back and enjoy it. Well, one of the highlights of the trip, last night while I was sitting there having a drink, um, a woolly, which is a brush-tailed beetong, and it's a small um, mammal, and it's native to the forest. It's critically uh, endangered, and it's a member of the rat kangaroo family. And it came right up to my feet, had a bit of a sniff around, was quite happy to sit there for a while, and le then left. So, yeah, very pleased with that one. It was a great camp. Next stop, 14 mile Brook Road, heading to Wandering. On a previous trip I did, I forgot this turn off and I shot straight through. I wasn't taking any notice. Um, so I got a fair way up the road before I stopped and asked somebody where I was going and they sent me back. So watch out for this turn off. The, the signs aren't really that big, especially you got the big green one, but Diandra York Williams Road over there, as you come around the corner, is fairly small, and at night you could miss it. Pretty little town this, got a great looking pub, haven't been there yet but uh, it's on the cards. Caravan Park's just over there, uh, I've done a video on that, did a bit of a fly around and part of another trip or another video that shows uh, a free campsite further back behind us just on the Albany Highway. Quite a historic little town. Pub or oh, road board office 1928. I've got fuel here, it's a self serve thing, pay by card, post office, shire office. There's public toilets here and a wee bit of a museum as well. So I'll go and fuel up. Diesel. Two dollars and one. Unleaded two dollars. Phew. Right, we're heading for North Wander down the North Wandering Road. Out past the golf course.
then we've done the full circle, so come off around through Wandering and we're back onto the York Williams Road again, just down from Voyage and Rock, Pingley Brookton. And there's the sign. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was quite an interesting trip. A few things that I found that I wanted to find. And even though it was a bit cold last night, uh, that's the breaks. So I had a fire. And as I said before, it is a magic spot. If you want to go and camp, I would highly recommend it. The trip around, I'm just on, I'll just have a look at that. I just clocked over 200 k's and by the time I get home probably about 250 to 300 kilometers round trip. Couldn't fault the weather so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please leave a comment. I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It helps with my rating on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thanks very much and we'll catch you on the next one.